So today, we are going to be taking a look at Rosanna, who is the next character coming to the game very soon. And as usual, the information that we will be taking a look at is based on leaks, so there's still a small chance for her kid to change. But as we have seen from the other characters, that chance is very small, so the information that we have right now will most likely be the same when we see this character in the game. So starting things off, let's go over the basic information. Rosanna is a character from the Tetra line of units. She uses a machine gun as her weapon. She is classified as an attacker, so overall this is pretty simple stuff. Now moving on to her skills, starting with her normal attack. She does 5.1% of her attack as damage. She has a reload time of 1.67 seconds and burst generation of 0.05%. Rosanna's normal attack damage is slightly lower than other machine gun characters, but at the same time, her reload speed is also slightly faster, so that compensates for the lower damage. And of course, her burst generation is 0.05%, and just like every other machine gun character, her maximum ammo capacity is 300. Moving on to her skill 1, this activates after landing 120 normal attacks and this ability affects Rosanna herself. This will apply concealment which prevents Rosanna from being targeted by single target attacks. But with that said, this effect will be lost if she takes damage. And lastly, concealment will also increase her critical damage by 22.34% for 10 seconds. So this first ability is decent and it sort of already tells you where Rosanna is going to shine. And if you can prevent Rosanna from taking damage, you will really get a lot of value from this ability. Now moving on we have her skill 2. This ability activates at the start of the battle, affecting Rosanna herself. This will basically give her invincibility for 5 seconds on top of another effect that this ability has. The second effect on the other hand will activate when a Nike is out of action. And you can actually stack this up to 9 times. And for each stack, you can get 24.31% more attack at level 10. So this is really good and this actually synchronizes really well with her skill 1. Simply because Rosanna getting a 5 second invincibility makes it so that she doesn't have to worry about dying before she lands 120 normal attacks. 24.31% more attack is actually insane, but realistically for PvP, you will most likely only get 2 or 3 stacks of this, maybe 4 or 5 depending on how close the fight is. So overall, this ability is really good and you can get a lot of value from this in PvP. Moving on to her burst. So Rosanna is a burst 1 character that has a 40 second cooldown on her burst. This burst ability will basically be dealing damage to your enemy's attackers, so this can be a really good counter for characters that are really strong but are very squishy. Especially considering that if Rosanna has the concealment effect from her skill 1, this burst ability will actually deal twice the damage. So that's really really good. At level 10, this is going to deal 617.76% of her attack as damage and basically double when she has the concealment status. Plus, she is also going to give her attacker allies 2.2% more crit rate. But that's not really that impactful compared to the damage she's doing with this ability. So overall, obviously, Rosanna is going to be a PvP character because a lot of her abilities are tailored towards that. Invincibility for a short period of time is only really useful for PvP. And also looking at the conditions for her burst, and this obviously screams PvP. So if you have been a long time viewer of this channel, you would already know my stance when it comes to PvP specific characters. For free to plays, of course, this is not really recommended because I don't recommend pulling for PvP characters simply because the PvP rewards don't justify pulling for them. If we take a look at my PvP reward shop, you can see that I have 1.3 million vouchers. And this is from playing since day 1 or ever since the PvP was released. But the main thing I want to mention is that I have so many vouchers even though I always buy the manuals in the shop. Of course, I don't buy these because I don't really need it. But buying these for 4200 per pop and still having 1.3 million is actually insane. And if we take a look at my ranking, I would say that I'm not that high on the tiers but for some people, top 50 might be very high. So currently my rank is diamond 5, and for a diamond 5 player, every hour I'm getting 386 vouchers. And this is me not even trying, like I couldn't actually care less about which player I actually go up against. Because when you take a look at the rewards, the difference is actually very minimal. Just take a look at a silver player who has 351 per hour, compared to a diamond player, let's say a diamond 5, who gets 386, so the difference is very minimal. So you can just basically participate in PvP every day and not worry about it, even if you lose half your battles. And the same thing in the rookie arena, like for this one, top 5 players get 1230 vouchers, which is only 10 vouchers more compared to the top 10 players. So that's not really that big of a difference. And at the end of the season, you get a ton of vouchers as well, so it's almost impossible for players to actually run out of vouchers. So hopefully I was not on a tangent very long, but that is basically the reason why I don't recommend pulling for PvP specific characters. You are better off pulling for characters that are good for PvE, which is the main content of Nikkei, because they are almost always also usable for PvP. So in short, do I recommend pulling for Rosanna? 
The answer is no. Not unless you like PvP, or you are already a heavy spender, which means that you will most likely already pull for her anyways. For my case, I'm also skipping Rosanna. Yes, I only have less than 10,000 gems left, but the reason I'm not spending these on Rosanna is because of the upcoming collaboration characters. If you don't remember, the previous collaboration event was hinted during the New Year's message greeting. The Chainsaw Man collab was later announced on February 14, and the collaboration event was in the game just about a week after the announcement. So based on that, and the fact that they also said in the half year anniversary that we are getting a new collaboration in the second half of this year means that we are possibly getting the collaboration event very soon. So I just wanted to mention that because some people might have forgotten about that. Especially for free to plays, it's not really that easy to save up gems. So it's better to save up now if you're interested in that collab so that you have enough pulls to actually get the character. But circling back to Rosanna, if I were to actually pull for her and use her in PvP, this is the team that I will use. So I have Nova for the invincibility for her whole team, and she will also be able to take a lot of damage by herself because of the additional invincibility from Biscuit. And of course Biscuit is here not only for the invincibility for Nova, but also for the healing for the other characters. And product 8 is the placeholder for Rosanna, which you can put her here, but you can also put her at the second last position so that she is less likely to get hit by your enemies so that she doesn't lose the passive from her skill 1. And of course I have Rapunzel for the healing and the revive, and I only have one room for a burst 3 character, so I'm choosing to go for privacy for the stun. So this team is overall really good for PvP, and I'm sure that you will find a lot of success by using this team composition if you have these characters. So yeah, that's about everything I have for this video. So right now I'm quote unquote skipping Rosanna, because I'm still not sure. Because even though I say that I'm skipping a character, I always end up doing 20 or 30 pulls and somehow, I always end up getting the character. But if this time I do like 2 or 3 10 pulls and not get her, I wouldn't actually be mad. So yeah, let me know what you think about this character if you're pulling for her. And as always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.